Hi everyone, this is Dr. Garner here with another hip hack, all right? Those hip hacks are things that you can use if you are prenatal, postpartum, hip dysplasia, hip arthroscopy, hip labral tear, pelvic pain, and any manner of pelvic or back pain or SI joint pain. And even these hip hacks can work if you have vocal problems, okay? So I'm gonna show you a hip hack today that if you have tightness here that runs right through your torso from here, so it's gonna, if you like, like kind of creep into the side of your spine, there would be a tender point there. That's called your quadratus lumborum. A lot of times it gets locked up because of those issues that I were mentioning that some people you know, can go through and have. So this is what you want to look for if you are feeling that tightness. This is a test, but it's also a little bit of a kind of a therapeutic mindful movement. Um, I would suggest one more thing. If you do this and you find that you can't do it or it's tight, I, one thing you can do is get in the pool, because this is summer, it's time for, you know, pool, right? And do what's called a mermaid kick, okay? That's where you keep your legs together and you just undulate your spine and then the legs move as a consequence of your spine moving. That's just the way that if mermaids existed, that they would swim. And there's apparently a mermaid movement of swimming or something like that of late. So that's the movement that I would want you to do. I just call it a mermaid kick. All right, so this is the movement you can test out. Here we go. First of all, do an arm spiral. Palms up, elbows up, palms down. Pop the wrists up, keep the shoulders away from the ears. So you can work on shoulder stability. Keep your fingers as wide as you can. Stay in spinal neutral. Don't flatten out or round. Spinal neutral, which means you'll have a sway in the back. Lift the knees. You should be able to breathe. Right? You can either move the arms up or the feet back. You're gonna keep your knees bent. Come towards down dog. This angle between the trunk and the hip stays close. This is not moving towards a plank position. Stay back here close. And you can try this on an exhale, but you would eventually be advanced enough to do it however you want, independent of the breath, is to do like the wave. Okay. I call this the slinky. You're exhaling, exhaling. You can even try it on an inhale, inhaling. But you should be able to wave the spine. So it starts out with the tailbone down, and then you round, round, round until you've rounded all the way, and then the tailbone sticks back out again, and the head moves in the opposite, opposite direction, okay? All right, I call that the slinky. If you find your spine is kind of stuck and you don't get that nice undulating movement, it's summer, get out, or if it's not summer and you're watching this, get out on a pool, try your mermaid kick, and then come back and try your down dog slinky, just like a 1970s slinky going down the stairs, right? You guys were born in a certain time frame, we'll remember that. I hope that helps to kind of loosen things up and also indicate when things are not moving in the spine well. That'd be a really good time to go visit your local, friendly, integrative pelvic uh, and hip PT. So I hope this has been helpful. And until next time, you can always catch more videos on my YouTube channel or go to Integrative Lifestyle Med if you're looking to work with me virtually or in person um, or telehealth at GarnerPelvicHealth.com. See ya.